Hello, people of the internet and board Zach here. Welcome back to yet another YouTube video. And in today's video, I am showing off a mock that I didn't really expect to be making this quickly. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you've already shown this mock off. The Monkey Kid Ninjago City. Well, there is an expansion already. And this is the custom Lego Ninjago City downtown district continuation. Whatever you want to call it. This is another add-on to Ninjago City. So, yeah, um, I was really happy with the first one, and I just wanted to have more of a city um, before I end up rebuying the set. I want something that's going to look good now, so I figured it would be a pretty cool idea to go ahead and expand, sorry, I zoomed in there, to go ahead and expand the mock. So here I am, I can get an establishing shot so you can see everything at once, and without any further ado, there is a back to this, but just like on the last one, it's pretty under detailed, so... Don't get your hopes up about that. You are looking at the glamour shot. Um, those two sides really don't like staying together. So you'll just have to deal with that little gap. Um, so down here we have a building which is, well, yeah, it's inspired. I was going to say ripped. It's not ripped straight from the Chinese New Year set. But that is what it's inspired from. It uses some constructions from that set. It's kind of hard to see the upper area of this, but you can see those stickers there and some windows. I don't have a flashlight on hand. Um, they use some of these red fencing pieces as the windows, which I really like. And then on some of these bars, I have two of the red lantern pieces and some crates for detailing similar totem looking details I did over there. Got some fences down here with some leaves hanging off of them. Ladder, which ladder and little rock area are pretty similar to those ones. Uh, pretty close together too, might I add, but they do look good. Add some decoration on the street. Over here is a completely custom building, which is this small, I kind of see it as a cafe kind of place. It's this white and black, primarily white and black building. Uh, up there above the roofing, there is a small window in the attic. There's also a window here, but you can't even tell it's a window. <laughs> um... You can in person, but it's very hard to tell in the video. I use this slanted door from the diner. Um, I think it's a really good part usage there, and it opens, and there's still room to get in there. And I like how it adds. It's not just a straight line, because I didn't want to have any alleyways in this one, because I think I should cheat out for not wanting to make as much building space. And there's this totem pole here, or I call it a totem pole. It's just the support pole. I use one of these grill pieces down here. And it's this black pole. Um, here we have this ingot piece. And down the front, I have these red plants, which are kind of related to the trees, but also not. And some of their petals have fallen off into the water. Which I think the primary colors here are white and red. Um, there's a lot of white and red throughout this build. Um, of course, those two things I'm about to show you now are the stuff that doesn't have it in it. So here is a stairway. This stairway just leads up to a small balcony up there. Um, you can look out over the canal, which I'll show you when I show you guys the back. Um, there's a small teal print there from the um, Chinese New Year set. And there's this piping. And yeah, also these brown details on this building. I don't think I paid any attention to those. So that's it for the old Ninjago level. So if you come up here, we have some more custom. Some of these are custom. Like on this one, I had a few of the custom uh, one by three signs on the railing. Um, these two are from the docks, I believe. Um, actually, a lot of these are, but I do have another custom one of the ninja here. This was over here originally. I swapped it out with another one. So here is actually, I can't tell how I feel about this building. This is the, I got stuck on this building for a while. So this was a pretty difficult design to figure out. I was struggling with coming up with anything interesting. I'm pretty happy with the design, but at the same time, I don't know. So this one has a, I wanted to, so these buildings, this one is super round and futuristic and I wanted something archaic, a complete contrast. That is the futuristic vibe too, but at the same time, it's really rudimentary uh, with its shapes. There is some curvature here. This little nougat bit curves and goes all the way up to the top. Um, black hat from the coal spinjitsu burst figure or the surge i'm not sure what it's called there's not interiors in these buildings uh the arcade does have an interior this one does not i just was more focused on the structure 
once again, I'll add one eventually. This window up here is a construction that's built on the side. So these were built upwards and placed sideways on some of the bricks. The, uh, I don't know what the dimensions are exactly. The top has two studs. This the bricks with the studs on the side. Um, it's this height here, which isn't the same height as two bricks. But yeah, you get the idea. And then over here, I have this sign. I'm trying to get it to focus. It says System Avenue, which is a sticker from the extra sticker pack that you get at the Lego store. Uh, that's the same with this ventilation here. I don't really like using stickers for details like that. I would have liked to use the piece, but I thought that one, it was a bit smaller, and I think it fits in there better. I have another one of these... Um, advertisements from the Ninjago City docks. This one is also built into a sideways window pane, the exact same method used down there. Uh, some brown, slightly extrusive uh, overhang, which is where the sign extends from. And up on the roof, it's kind of hard to tell this is a piece because of my computer background, but that is a sloped black piece up there. And there's a lantern and then we have these black, I mean, not black, these gray little uh, oriental extensions over here. Up on the roof, we have a box. This little crate here is from Chinese New Year set. A red chair, very similar to the red chair on top of that building. And then there's an extension out the top of this that much, also much like this, has some plants growing. There's a, one of these, they're not cherry blossoms because the cherry blossom's the pink tree. I'm not exactly sure what kind of tree this is, but this red petal, red and white tree, extending from the top. There's also, like I said, that hole up there. That's where the top one's coming from. So yeah, that's it for that building. This little one sandwiched in the middle here got a lot less attention, clearly, um, but I still really like it. So I used sand green and dark gray. The, there's not much of an interior in here either. It actually doesn't have walls on the inside. It just uses the walls of these buildings. Um, there's this gray bit here, and there's some of the um, dark gray masonry. If you peel the sign up, there's some windows in there. I think the windows look pretty good, but I do think the building looks better with the advert hanging down. The roofing is a, a method I haven't tried before. I'm trying to get more, um, I don't want to use the word risky because it's not really about to sneeze maybe. It's not happening. Sorry. Awkward pause. Um, can't tell if I have to sneeze or not. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, a more interesting method of roof here. It's meant to look like a messy roof. This is kind of a super small apartment building. Of course, in a city like this, it would probably have super expensive rent. There's a sonar panel on top, or I guess sonar. So yeah, not really much to get into here. Over here is my absolute favorite building. So I actually bought an, another of the Jay's Arcade Pod. This isn't my original one, um, because I wanted this sticker here for the sign. It kind of reminds me of the Pigsies one. And I also, in the window down there, we have um, Avatar J, because this is in Prime Empire Arcade. Um, the in-universe logic is that Jay was able to re-engineer Prime Empire to not be a dangerous game. It's now a game that people can play without getting sucked into it. And, uh, his avatar is the logo of the, um, of the arcade. And there's that little sticker there that says Ninja, also an extra from his pod. And that little black and white striped bit also comes from the extra sticker pack. The same that these two stickers came from. Um, and a lot of the stickers like that one and the clutch drive and the baker stickers like those um, I went with the black sleek design on this building. I thought it looked really good for an arcade You have a little AC unit there. This post here is inspired by the modular building lamp posts But it's the oriental version of that. So instead of the clear head here We have one of the lamp or the lanterns, which I think looks fantastic up there um, two of the elements from the Series 19 Gamer, the one with the green hair. I have his space game poster because they do have it in there. And a controller. I can't really show the interior too well. I'm going to try to. The Monkey Kid arcade machine from that uh, Monkey Mech set is in there. Also the Prime Empire one from the Temple of Madness. 
There's a little prize counter in there with some plushies, and that's about it. And a cash register. There's some piping down here and some teal highlights to highlight Jay. I was really happy I was able to fit a window with more curvature in it, and I fit it in there because the uh, Pigsy's food shop was a little pushed back. So I had that extra space to fit that right in there. Definitely my favorite part of the build is the arcade. I absolutely love it. Going on to the second floor, you kind of mix up the colors. It was pretty bleak down here. Now we have some red in here. So we have the Ronin poster from Ninjago City. Some windows in here. The second floor does not have any detailing yet. Um, blue bottom here. And then there's that curvature for the window, but it does stop up there. And there's some tiling and another one of these trees. So my plan for the city mod is for every different one. I'm going to give it a different tree type since the original Ninjago City has the big pink tree. This one has the green leaves and this one has the oriental. I know you're thinking, how do those, those kind of clash, don't they? They do to an extent, but at the same time, it adds a lot of um, diversity through the plants in Ninjago City, which adds a lot of realism because people grow different plants. This tree is built primarily for this business where they harvest the fruits off of them for products. And these are more just beautiful trees that you would find in China, Japan. This mock is kind of, because I know Monkey Kid's based on China, Ninjago is a little more Japan, so it's kind of a clash of the two. But yeah, we have this tree here. This tree starts to tangle in with the pigsy sign, but I actually think they go together really well. This fence here is just so there's not, it's a pretty sizable gap between those. You wouldn't want anyone falling through, getting hurt. So we have a railing there. I might put an ad on there, like a little sign. Yeah, so there's a second floor here. There's some windows in there behind the tree, but you really can't see them. And then my personal favorite part is this roof up here. So I used one, two of the red slopes from Unagami's uh, Temple of Madness and used them as the support for this red roof, which uses the same shingle design I used on that black roof. Um, I really think it looks good. It also looks a little bit like a cargo crate to me. Um, on this side, you can kind of see the hole there, but on this side, which is the uh, minifigure friendly side, you can see the, I covered it up with this slanted piece and there's a fence. There's a little area up here. It's not really accessible, but I think somebody who was in this garden, this could be an area, obviously it's a different property, but it could be an area for them to get away from the plants because that's a pretty crowded little garden over in these two spaces. So yeah, I really think that's it for the front. Um, I'm not gonna move the whole build around to show you the back. I'm just going to show you from the side because there's not much of interest back here. If I wake up my computer, it will give me some light. There we go. So as you can see back here, really just some boring store backs. I'm not really going to waste your time showing them off. Um, here's the little railing I told you guys about. Um, this is a little grill from the Chinese New Year set. Some rocks. This is a, the entrance to the Chinese front. Basically a completely different store on the back. Sorry if the angle's awful. I can't really see what I'm filming. And there's this white store here. I'm realizing now I put those slopes on differently so I could fix that while I'm at it. I exposed a hole in the wall. Yeah, and then there's this surfboard up here and this plant from the Chinese New Year set, which is right there and the water line lines up pretty perfectly with the other add-on so it continues the same shape back here so yeah that is really it for the mock um sorry the back's a little boring i just don't focus on them. maybe you could yeah you could you can get a better look at the mock with the computer screen back there you can actually see what i'm talking about i think it looks pretty incredible i probably think it's my best mock um of course I do love my Minecraft um, world. So um, in the future, I will probably continue to expand this. I don't know how big it's going to get, but I do enjoy having a new project. This one's a lot more stressful than the Minecraft one because it takes a lot more pieces. And yeah, but that tangent's over and that video's over. So I'll see you on the next one. I hope you all like the mock. Yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.